How to Let Go of Depression Focusing too much on the things we didn't get to have from our past can create a discouraged mindset and give us feelings of disappointment and despair. When we are discouraged, our decreased levels of strength and increased thoughts of pessimism can prevent us from finding ways of changing our current undesirable circumstances and conditions. When we're deeply disappointed with the end result of something we were looking forward to acquiring, accomplishing, enjoying, or possessing, these disappointing sensations can revolve in our heads over and over again, spawning resentful thoughts and negatively affecting our attitudes, feelings, and emotions. When a combination of wants, wishes, and expectations didn't go our way, depressed moods can set in. Perhaps we wanted a better position, or we wanted to get accepted into a particular college or company. Maybe we couldn't close an important business deal, missing out on profitable transactions and revenue, or maybe we wished we had a better relationship, better health, or a better life by now. Certain negative events in our lives that didn't match perfectly in our past can make us feel unease, worried, anxious, and lonely. When we feel anxious, worried, and lonely, we perceive to be unable to reach out to anyone that understands the situations we're going through. And this disorientation and uncertainty may give us feelings of derailment from the directions in which our lives were supposed to proceed. When very few things seem to be going our way and the world around us changes in ways that we are not accustomed to living, it's hard to stay positive and be optimistic about the ways our lives have turned out to be. When we're experiencing substantial loss of income, the passing away of a loved one, the diagnosis of a terminal illness, or finding out our business ventures have gone up in smoke, it's hard to stay positive. Many of these challenging times can affect us to the point that we feel physically and emotionally exhausted, lacking the energy to do anything productive for us or for anyone. We may end up pacing around the house, secluding ourselves from the world, thinking, contemplating, and wondering where and when did all these things go so wrong. As time goes by and more negative thoughts keep piling up, our emotions and feelings may take a sharp turn and we become depressed. When depression sets in, sleeping all day is a common habit found in any one of us with this condition. We may seek alternative means of coping with the daily struggle in order to dull the pain. Sadly enough, many times there are some individuals who cease to continue the struggle by eliminating all of their heartache and all of their pain doing something from which there's no known return dealing with feelings of depression is different for each one of us stress often arises from continually thinking stressful thoughts it is important for our health and well-being to realize we need help and assistance whenever we're experiencing symptoms of depression. Many times we forget. No one can read our minds or understand the ways we are feeling. Even if our actions and posture and our tone of our voice screams in detail our life's problems. Sharing the negative emotions we're going through with a trusted friend or a loved one can encourage many of us to liberate ourselves from the unwelcome sensations we're experiencing. As we receive positive emotional support from our friends and loved ones, their positive actions and encouraging words help us acknowledge and in time understand that even though life can be tough and extremely unkind, we need to be stronger and quickly stand up whenever we're down so we can vanquish our fears, challenges, disappointments, and problems. Is that easy to do? No. But it does get easier when we have people by our side whom we can rely on, confide in, turn to, and trust. Our happiness and dreams can be found a short distance away from where we stand today, and that distance is called action. The action of being able to share our thoughts and feelings, however difficult that may be, and search for new ways to give our minds the much-needed peace and tranquility it certainly needs. 
Our hearts and minds deeply desire for us to have a sense of belonging, a sense of being wanted, appreciated, cared for, and loved. Our souls desire for us to live a life we want to live fully, with the people we want to live it with, doing the things we want to do for as long as we're able to do it. Lifestyle changes are sometimes hard and difficult to make. Most of us don't like getting ourselves out of our comfort zones or out of our usual surroundings. But this is exactly what we must do to improve our states of mind and the feelings of depression. We gotta make the effort to go places we love visiting and to perform the activities that bring joy and happiness to our lives. This way, we can speed up the process of healing a mind that needs to let go of a negative past and focus our thoughts on new horizons, available options, and opportunities. When we open our arms to new opportunities and to building a life we want to live, we learn to look at life through different eyes and positive changes quickly appear. It is important to recognize, to accept, and to take responsibility of the choices from our past decisions that attributed to us feeling the way we are feeling today, so we can let go of our negative thoughts and unwanted emotions. Acknowledging that life sometimes doesn't provide us or give us many of the things we want and desire may not be easy to accept at first, but that's okay, because as we get wiser about the meaning of life, understanding that we can always find another way, another when, and another how provides us with the drive and the spirits we need to live a more peaceful and abundant life that is often waiting for us just around the corner. Every difficult event in life is bound to have a correspondent solution. Our job is to search and find the answers to any of our problems and become more resilient and adaptable to what life will frequently place on our paths. Happiness and joy will begin to exist the moment we decide to let go of the negative burdens we carry around from an unwanted past. By letting go of our negative thoughts and focusing more on the changes and choices we have available today, we can live better lives and make the necessary changes that will bring peace, love, and happiness into our hearts. Take a look at our videos of how to let go of the past and how to heal a broken heart that complement this message. Share, like, and subscribe, and we will see you back again on our next video. Cheers!